Hello? <laughs> Hi everybody. Uh, just started live now. Let's see. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing this morning? Josan, Josan, Daga Josan. So we're just going to spend maybe two to three minutes because I know now that it's only 60 minutes, so I'm not going to prolong it. But um, I will eventually, it's nighttime in Vancouver. Hi, thank you for checking in. Um, eventually, I think I'm going to move over to Facebook because they don't have a, a limit to live. So uh, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, let me know how you're feeling. Um, and let me know where you're from because uh, I teach here in Hong Kong. For those uh, that are unfamiliar with me, I'm Margaret. Uh, I teach in Hong Kong. And today we're going to do a weekend flow. So you can vinyasa at Hong. Hey, Agnes Toronto. Hey, Agnes. Wow. Are you, are you Agnes Agnes? Like the Agnes that I, I did uh, I, uh, was ages ago. You're my student. If so, hello. How are you? Malaysia. Hello. Hello. Um, and also, you know, be aware today's class. Go weekend flow la big out head leaks. You see, guess. So there will be um, a bit more, uh, um, I wouldn't say advanced or intermediate, just a little bit more challenging. Yeah. So uh, I welcome everybody just to come join. Um, Panama. Wow. Hi. Stanford. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm so glad. Good. I'm so glad. You know, it's so hard to to check in sometimes. It's so hard to actually come to class. Actually, it's pretty easy to click a live and watch, but it's really hard to stay for that hour. <laughs> so um, if you can, uh, let's just make an intention together. Um, we're going through so much at this moment. We're at home. We possibly might have people we know or family members or all the people that are, are fighting this um, circumstance right now, right? So let's just see if me and you, we can take this next 57 minutes and really just dedicate it to ourselves, you know, because sometimes, you know, Sometimes even subconsciously, we, we, we really just want to help people, you know, and just do things. So I want you to see if you can dedicate the next practice to yourself. Yeah, so when you're practicing and commit, you know, it's, it's, it's challenging to actually to stick to that commitment. So you know what, it's only an hour of your life. I'm with you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can tell me uh through the comments but you know what i'm turning the comments off because it's kind of like george side right um can we watch later definitely you can watch this uh later i'm i didn't save it last time i had to screen record the whole thing so i remember that to how to to click that button and save it this time um so really just uh you can re you know it's different if you're watching a video and I'm not actually interacting with you um, but you know what it's better than not practicing right so again okay so let's kind of start I'm going to oh my goodness okay hold on no 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 <laughs> no, no no that's a question I'm gonna turn off the comments okay thank you guys for checking in um, if we have time maybe I'll see if I can put another two to three minutes to connect with you after class yeah so I'll, uh, I'm watching the time on my clock so we'll see from there. Okay, hopefully we don't get cut. Oh, what is this? Comments. That's a question. Okay, bye guys. I mean, with the comments. <laughs> uh, okay, let's begin. So uh, hopefully you have a mat prepared and a block if you need it. Um, I have a glass of water. Um, not solely to hydrate but kind of just to wet your mouth sometimes you know uh, from my experience well for me i'm just talking so much while i'm practicing and sometimes okay so uh, uh for those i'm going to be bilingual the best that i can bilingual let me tilt this up a little bit so i can see a little bit more okay better okay 
So we're gonna start, uh, actually, we're gonna start seated. Uh, let's connect. Sit in a comfortable seated position. Uh, do any movements that feel good for your body. And then when you're ready, please close your eyes. How am I doing that? Good, as you ground your sit bones onto the mat, start to connect to your breath. So. When you inhale, naturally you lengthen up, right? So for those regular practitioners, just ground and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. So during the whole practice, you wanna come into a very conscious breath, right? Doesn't mean that it needs to be a certain length or anything, no. What it means is that you're aware of it. You know, because we live our day without really thinking about the breath too much, right? But in your yoga practice, you really want to have that breath complement your practice. And it's also a great kind of reminder for yourself to let you know that if you've gone too far, you know, if you've gone, you're in a really strenuous or challenging physically yoga posture, if you're unable to breathe, it means that you went a little bit too, too deep into the pose. So make sure that the breath is there. Okay, join your hands into your heart center, sun up by some pojong down. Okay, grounding your hips, staying here. So go full cup pojong yoga. Right, so I um, what they choose in yoga, so you let the wood stuff and see how low you take a full cup. Right, go full cup, you don't have a whole, oh, get get my point up, take a young so. 就是你做一個很困難的瑜伽動作的時候如果你唞不到氣 Say, let's have a really, really beautiful practice together. Being true, stay committed. Let's do this together, okay? So come to the top of your mat and come into a forward bend, uh, Uttanasana, right? And then just make sure that your feet are hip width apart. Like if I'm hip width foot though. Get a micro bend the knees if you need to. Okay, once your feet are set, your toes are happy, then just come into ragdoll. Hold your opposite elbows and relax the head. So, you really feel the stretch in the lower back. Right? If you want more of the hamstrings, you can straighten the legs a little bit more and shift the weight over towards the toes. You can stay here for just about five more breaths here. Right? You can see how your body is feeling. You know, sometimes I wake up and I'm so tight and ragdoll. So, just hanging here and just letting gravity help to open the body a little bit more. Good. Feel the breath into the upper rib cage now. So breathing and expanding, keeping your lower abdomen in and connected. Okay, bring your hands into the mat, so by the hat, and inhale to a halfway lift, flat front to you. Toe heel your feet out and come into Malasana squat. Okay, this will deepen the stretch to the lower back and also for the hips. Okay, so just stay here, hands into the heart. You can close your eyes. You can hold my doing on. Gum uh Malasana let's a bullet sun zing go ahead go it's it my to lower back air. Gum yon C D Yatzi Yeah he sent Jolly Gay Dong Jo Hai Tiu Kap Ganga. Okay. Gum you go high low and hold noise you. Okay. These are two great postures to do when you wake up. Okay, taking inhales and exhales. Okay, so if you can go deeper, walk your elbows down a little bit more and then again push the knees away with the elbows and lengthen your spine. Good. If your eyes are open, your chin is lifted, and you're looking straight forward. 
with your Dristi. Good. And slowly bring your hands into the floor and come into Uttanasana again. Toe heel your feet hip width apart, hang your head. Say hello, neck, shake it out. Make sure the jaw is not clenched. Relax the lips, relax the tongue. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale your hands into the hips. So make sure you're not collapsing. Pull your lower abdomen in and inhale all the way up into a standing position. Okay, fine, son. Sure, go my tight feet together. You're coming into Samasthiti here. Okay, make sure you're at the top of the mat. So today's flow will be a little bit more quicker. So um, a heads up that we'll do two Surya Namaskar A's and two Surya Namaskar B's. Good. And before I forget, I had someone tell me that they wanted me to mention when I started class that please pass your cards <laughs> to the back of the room. And I think only my regular students will understand that and my have that. But anyways, let's begin. Okay, Samasthi Tihi. Surya Namaskar A, following the Ashtanga lineage. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into plank into chaturanga. Option to bring your knees down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take five breaths here. We'll go full cup. So reminder to those that are quite new to yoga, your feet are hip width apart. And you can't see your heels. You know, when you look back towards your ankles, your heels aren't turned in. You want to turn them out, so they're kind of hiding behind the ankle. Good. Bend your knees and lengthen the spine if you need to. Yeah. Um, if you're open, go ahead and just stay here with the heels down. Look forward in between the hands. That's where you're going to step. Okay, so bend the knees and step your feet forward. Come into a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Look up with the drishti. Exhale, samasthiti. Release the hands. Okay, now I'm just going to call it the breath. So again, follow with me. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Make sure the fingers are spread out wide. Core is pulled in. Good. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, walk or hop or jump, halfway lift, exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up, reach up, exhale, samasthiti. So namaskar B. Yeah, so the first one's a little bit more kind of uh, connected with you talking, so let's do it together. Bend the knees, ukatasana, inhale, arms up. So bring your palms together, eyes are looking up. This is ukatasana, follow ukatasana, following the ashtanga one. So dress these up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good. As you're exhaling, step the right leg forward into Warrior One and hold here. Eyes are looking in between the hands. So noticing that Warrior One, back foot is down, right knee is bent. Palms together, look up. Usually this is just one breath, but we're just going to connect to the pose, make sure the legs are strong. Okay, take a deep inhale, exhale, vinyasa, hands down, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. With the exhale, left leg steps forward, then the inhale takes you up, and hold here, just for a few extra breaths. So feel the right hip moving forehead, for, forward, left hip moving back, hold here. Good. Find your breath. Next exhale, hands down, vinyasa, inhale and exhale, five breaths. <clears throat> so Surya Namaskar B for the second round will be a little bit more quicker. Okay, if you find that the breath is not connected with me, it's okay, just make sure you're breathing, okay? Hmm. Bend your knees, look forward, walk or jump, halfway lift, exhale and fold. Utkatasana, bend your knees, inhale, arms up, exhale, samasthiti. Okay, let's do it real time. Standing in Samasthiti Hi, drift these forward, Uddiyana Bana, pulled in. Bend your knees, inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale up. 
Exhale down, left, right leg steps forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back down, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, left leg on the exhale. Then inhale, come up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Keep breathing, guys. Don't hold the breath. Exhale, down dog. So like I remind you, never hold the breath. Keep the breath moving throughout the whole sternum scurvy. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or jump. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, ukatasana, arms up. Exhale, samasitihi. Okay, just stand here for about three to five breaths. Feeling the body get warmed up. Starting to feel the weekend vibes. <laughs> okay, hands into the heart. Bend your knees, hold. So come into look at Ukatasana bottom. Hands into Anjaniasana and hold here. Good. Now shift your weight over towards your left leg and lift your right leg up. Just balance. Good. Pull the belly in. Then inhale, come all the way up to standing balancing pose. Keep the breath moving and flex the right toes up. Okay, bring your left hand to your hip, right hand hold the outside of the foot. Stay here. You can either just work on the hip opening here or extend the right leg forward and breathe. Either hand on foot or knee, open it up to the right. Hold here. Just be still looking forward. Pull the core in. Come back to center. Good. If you're holding your knee, everybody extend your right leg forward. Hands onto the hips. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, point it back. Good. And start to shift away uh, back, coming into Dekasana. Good. Find your breath. Hold for five, four, three. You can bend the left knee. I like to a little bit too. And one, step back with the right hand down. Good. So your back knee is up, but your right hand's onto the mat. Take your left shoulder, open it up, come into a twist, left hand to the sky. Deepen the breath. Make sure that you're turning the belly button, also the chest. And the hand is reaching. It's not just kind of there. It's reaching up. And then push the ground away with the right hand. Go a little bit deeper in the twist. Good, look down, step back into side plank, and hold. Good, option to bring the right knee down if you need to. Again, now it really comes into place, the left hand's reaching up, right hand's pressing down into the mat, hold here. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Come into plank and hold. Find your breath. Good. Now roll over a little bit Good. and lift your right knee towards the chest. Good. Twist it over towards the left and bring your elbow to your knee. Left elbow, right knee. Hold here. So you're twisting kind of into a side plank. Hold here. You know, twist all the way around and come into a seated position. Twist the body. Find your breath. Kind of like a Murchiasana A. Good. Or B. Uh, hold here. Good. We're going to keep that elbow connected to the knee. Okay? You want to lift up. Good. And come back into the plank. And release. Good. Downward dog. Or vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale. Three breaths here. Last breath. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or jump, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, samasthiti. Okay, then I'll be on the other side. Okay, hands into the heart center, stand so by somehow jump down. Bend the knees, come into Ukutasana and hold. Drift these forward, or as chillaxed. <laughs> Shift over towards the right foot, and then lift your, hover your left leg. So you just want to hover it. Yeah, then inhale, come up. Good, and find your balance. <sighs> yeah, so you can either hold the knee or hold the foot, Good, depending on what you want. I like to hold the outside of the foot 
and my thumb is in between my pinky toe and second toe, getting a really good grip. Extend forward, hold here. So make sure the shoulder's not moving forward with the foot, yeah? Whoa, 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 hold here. You wanna pull the shoulder back as much as you can. Good, and open it up towards the left. Hold here. Dristy still, core is pulled in. Come back to center. Everybody, straighten the left leg, release. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, good. Hands onto the hips, good. And reach your left leg back into Dakasana. Hold here. Good. So make sure the hip is as square as it feels today. Good. It's actually easier to balance to square it. For three, two, and one. Step back and bring your left hand down. Open the shoulder, right hand up. Twist the body. Back leg is strong. So half a bow, get a sow gun, dial a ling ju, see her, get a ling ju, my go to see somehow. Right, yeah, so I sung her tinga, right, mobe, chulik, joy dai, so remember not to collapse, reach up. You, you need that energy to step back into side plank. Hold here. Find your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Hips are lifting up and strong legs are squeezing together. And come into plank, hold here. Find your breath. Yeah, bring your left knee in towards the chest. Roll over like a side plank and bring your right elbow to your left knee. When you're ready to twist over, sit down, come into a twist. Ooh, did you hear that crack? <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? Good? I can't see you, but you can see me. Hold here. Good, step back up, keep your elbow on the knee. Good, lift back up, hold, and plank. Everybody, let's vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down, three breaths. Udiyana bana hold in, hapa po sao gan po ka fong song, sap ko sao ti tan hoi. Bring your feet together. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip. Good. Step your right leg forward. Take a moment here. We're going to come into a high lunge. Okay, so what I like to do sometimes is that I don't drop right into it straight away. I kind of lift it up higher, then I come up, everybody, arms up to the sky. And then once I have my balance, then I sink my hips deep. Hold here. Take your right hand and hold the left wrist. Yao so jok jo samun and reach over towards your right. Lai ho yao bin. Good. Feel the stretch in the left swords. Come back to center. Open it up to warrior two. Arms open. Hold here. Good. Reach back. So. Reverse warrior, it's not really a back bend, it's side stretch. Right, so some call it side warrior. Any warrior, just keep your hips square like warrior two and reach over towards the back of the, towards the left foot. Inhale back into warrior two, straighten the right leg, trikonasana. Inhale, exhale, right hand to the ankle, left hand to the sky. Okay, so it could be the ankle or it could be the, on the floor, whatever works for you. Your block is there, or, or anything, a book. Right, see if you can place the hand underneath and get more lift. So noticing the extension of both sides of the body. Right, so it's holding your galatai, your shoulders, and pulling you towards that direction. And the hip is pulling back. Right, so press the right foot down, open the left hip up to the ceiling. Holding for five more breaths here, guys. So less weight on the hand. So it's there, but it's not kind of resting on the ankle. Three, two, and one. Bring your left hand to your hip. Good, look down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna come into balancing half moon. I'm gonna step back a little bit so my head doesn't get cut off. Yeah, bring your right hand to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Yao sao bai go yao ge ji mei, cha chen gao di di. Take a moment to kick up and find your balance. Don't rush. When you're ready, open the hip. 
Yeah. So make sure the right hand is below the right shoulder. Staying here for eight breaths, Baku Fuka. Okay, you have the option to hold the left ankle with your left hand, or you can just stay where you are and breathe. Okay, if you can, if you have ankle, open it up. Five more breaths. Whoa, hold here. Good, and release down. Feet together, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, and fold. Yeah, one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend your knees, jump back. Vinyasa. Yeah, inhale up. Exhale down. <sighs> Other side. So I got my side. Feet together. Draw the hunty and left leg up to the sky. Open the hip and feel. Back on the hip. But your shoulders are still even on the floor. Step forward. Set up. Take a moment. Legs are strong. Core strong. Inhale. Arms up to the sky. Good, and hold. High lunge, Anjani Asana. If you can, sit a little bit deeper. Find your breath. Okay, this time, left hand, hold the right wrist. Jaw san jok, yao sa won. Good, and arch over towards your left. Ah, jaw bin. I'm sweating so much. Hold here. Good, make sure the rib cage isn't sticking out too much. Back leg and left leg are strong. Breath is moving. Inhale, come back to center and hold. Good. Warrior two, open it up. Good. And then come into your side warrior, reverse warrior, anything I like to call it. Stretch out the left side of the body and breathe. I like to look down. You can look up, up to you. Good. Inhale to warrior two. Strain the left leg. Triangle pose, reach. Good. And pivot. Keep holding triangle pose. Okay, make sure the left foot is pressing down, right hip is lifting up, sides of the body are extending, and you're reaching with the right hand. Three more breaths here. Right hand on the hip, look down. Bend the left knee, go hand to the corner on the pinky toe, inhale, kick up. One jump ping and find your balance first. Good. Uh, use the block underneath your left hand if you need to, yeah? Use your options. Good, open the hip when you're ready, hold ankle and kick open. Four more breaths. Three, two, and one release, feet together. So you have my side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Oh, shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into plank and hold. Jumps right now. <laughs> here comes the planks. Oh no. Good, hold here. Good. Vinyasa, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. And hold, upward dog. So I know it's black on black for me but your knees are not resting. It's actually pressing away from the mat. Go sa tago, lay hard, lay hard, so you can hold here. Good, open the chest forward, hands are strong. Good, exhale, downward facing dog, reach back. Hmm. Good, next time I'll bring a towel for myself. Sweaty, inhale plank, and hold. Yeah, so noticing plank, if any time you need to rest, bring your knees down. Okay? Now I want you to shift the weight forward and then back. Forward and back. One more time. Forward and back. Hold here. So noticing the fingers should be taking some weight, not all on the base of the wrist, okay? Yeah, now bring your knees down. We're going to come into low plank variations. So when you come into low plank, your elbows are shoulder width apart. So make sure they jump over Sauzan. Interlace your fingers and hold here. Okay, stretch your legs back and breathe. Okay, staying in low plank. Okay, now shift over towards your right elbow, right edge of the foot. 
Good, and bring your left hand to your hip, draw some tan yu. So the right hand fingertips are open, gang yao xiao ji tan hoi xiao ji gai. Okay, and hold. Reach your left hand up and over. Do you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do eight pumps, okay? Lift up, look down for balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And come back to a low plank. Other side, right hand to the hip. Yeah. Right hand reaches over, lift it up, pump. One, two, three, four. Keep breathing, guys. Five. Keep with me. Six, seven, eight. Low plank and hold. <sighs> we'll come down soon. I don't know when. We'll come down eventually. Okay? Holding here, belly in. Yeah, let's work your hips a little bit. So shift over. So roll to the outside of the right foot and hold. Keep both elbows heavy. Yeah, now bring the hips down and bring your left hand on your hip. So if you see me, shoulder perpendicular to the elbow, legs are stacked on top of each other. Okay? You move like this. Okay, now the back leg, the bottom leg, bend it out 90 degrees. Go jog kok hang hao gao sato. Get and lift your left foot up. Jog a lady. Get hand to your hip. Hold here. So spread. So it's kind of like figure it out. See my back foot? It's bent 90 degrees. Can everybody lift your hip up and hold? So left leg is strong. Lifted. Now we're gonna pulse here, okay? So the left hip doesn't really touch, it just goes up and down. Let's do this 20 times, okay? One, pump up, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should feel the outside of the hips start to burn. Yeah, if you lost count, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and hold. Keep your left leg strong. So make sure you weren't just pumping the leg, guys. You're pumping the hip, okay? Low plank, hold here. Flip to the outside of the left foot. Take a moment, twist the body. Yeah. Now bring the hip down, release, hands onto your hip. Yeah, so tie you. So hold it, okay? Let's change the Maybe it's a little bit more clear on this side. So bend the bottom leg, so it's 90 degrees out. Your body is still straight, so it's not like shifting back, okay guys? Straight spine. Yeah, lift your right leg up, balance, and lift your hips up. Good. And now the sliding, hold here. Good. Now pump, down, up, one, two, three, four, five, right leg is stable. Yeah, just the hips moving. 10, 11, 12, you should feel the burn around here. Yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and hold, 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 and low plank. Stay here. Okay, if you need a break, try not to. <laughs> that was such an evil laugh. Stay here for just 10 more seconds. Okay, stop music on. Horse hold in. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Plank position. And, and vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's take a well deserved five breaths here at Mugo Fuku. Take a sip of water if you need to. Try not to leave your mat, just stay with me. <laughs> Please don't go. Stay with me, hold here. Yeah. Eyes are looking forward, step your right leg forward, and then turn your body over towards your left, okay? So make sure your feet are, I'm going to turn my body this way, okay? So your toes are pointing forward, Good. And depending on your flexibility, so we're going to come to Pasarita Parodhanasana. If you're quite tight, um, your feet should be no wider than feet on top of the elbows, other than the wrists, okay? So if you're high, 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 you're
係如果你係比較緊嘅，嘅啲只腳咧，唔好闊過你個手腕留下 ，OK？ 嗯 ，Chinese， hopefully it's improving one day at a time. Pass straight up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, go down. Good. Now go halfway. Good and hold here. So the back of the neck is long. Chin slightly lifted if you need to. Elbows are pointing up. Good. When you're here, I want you to shift over the weight towards the toes a little bit if you can. Good. Find your breath. Good. Holding here for five, four. The hips are moving back. Chest moving forward. Two, and one. Fold forward. You can hold your ankles. Good. Or hold anything. If you have a block. Staying where you need to. Make sure you're supported in some sense. Good. Lengthen the spine. Good. So you can hold your ankles or you can hook your big toes. Good. There's many versions of Pasri to Padottanasana. Just take any version that works for you. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. We're going to come into a tripod headstand into a cow facing posture. Okay, so um, if you know the pose, come with me. If you're not practicing in your tripod just yet, what you can do is just from here, jump into cow facing posture, right over left for the first side, okay? Yeah, so know your options. Yeah, if you're coming into tripod headstand, inhale, lengthen, or stay in posture in the pot of Uttanasana for the count of 15, 14, ooh, 13, 12. 11, just about a foot away from the mat. Five, I don't know where I counted. Let's go for 10. Nine, if you're floating, cow, bring it to cow facing legs. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down into cow facing or a jump, okay? So cow facing, either knees are stacked on top of each other. So go there, so the guy, the, Tap, tap, goga. Okay, so give me the. Hope you can see. So your feet are out this way. You can hold the feet. Use your block for your forehead. Modifications. Remember. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Yeah. You can reach your arms forward. Bring your chin on your knee, and just feel the stretch, right at the right sore, at the right piriformis muscle, right here. Find your breath. So get that goga hip mo that high go. So make sure the hip is not. Uh, sticking up too much. Okay. Holding for about eight breaths here. Okay, keep your breath conscious. So you don't want to start to bring your heart rate down just yet. Okay, you're still kind of breathing, inhaling and exhaling equal. Maybe five to six seconds, exhaling five to six seconds. Hold here. Feel the lengthening of the spine on the inhale. As you exhale, go a little bit deeper. As you melt down, pull the hips back. Good. Inhale, come up. Good. You can just bring your hands to the front of the mat and come into vinyasa or come into your scissor crow. Bend your elbows, lift up for five, four, three, two, and vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down, five breaths. So again, I'm just giving variations for regular practitioners. You know, um, um, don't be like, oh my god, I can never do that, or I don't want to do that. Just, you know, give it a try, try it out. Hopefully in the future, when we have more time, or I can see in person, we can really workshop these poses a little bit more. Okay, step your left leg forward, come up. So other side, Prasri the Parottanasana. Yeah, so I'm going to face you. Oh, sweaty face. Hands onto the hips. Okay, take any variation you like. You can interlace your fingers behind your back or do any other version you like, okay? Good, I'm gonna come into reverse namaskar because I've got very tight shoulders and wrists. I wanna work on those, okay? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. Let the head drop. So legs are strong. You wanna make sure uh, the weight's not all on the outside of the foot. Do you see my feet? Yeah, you wanna bring it more towards the inside of the feet so you're engaging the legs. Hold for eight more breaths. Back of Fuka. If your head is touching the mat, shorten the stance between the legs. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands. Good. If you're in tripod headstand, 
come into it. Otherwise, stay in your forward bend. Good. So make sure the head and your hands are in the tripod position. Good. Watch the block. Hold here. Good. Ten more breaths. So make sure the shoulders are shrugged, shoulders away from the ears. Good. Start to bring the legs into cow facing posture, left over right this time. Hold for five, four, three, two, slowly come down, and one. Pasarita, jump into cow facing, left on top of the right. Okay? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward, hunting king. Good. Come back. Good. And fold forward. Um, like kind of what I said in my last sequence, right? Four bends, extensions. It's nice to just kind of flop over, depending on what mood you're in or what practice you want, right? But really, if you want to work on that stretch a little bit more and you're like, oh, I feel like today I want to really push my limits and kind of see where I can go, then really work on lengthening the spine. Yeah? So when you fold forward, your body's not away from the thighs. It's actually touching. And when you fold forward, you're actually pressing the knees together. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. So bring your hands to the top of the mat. Either come into scissor curl, or you can just vinyasa. You can hold here for five, four, three, two, and chaturanga. Yes, inhale up, exhale down. Five breaths here, move a full cup. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear outside of my door. I can hear my daughter's loud and clear. Good. <laughs> Bend your knees, jump through to seated. Good, and sit down. Yeah, legs straight, sort of stick. Okay, so we're just gonna come into a simple Pachimottanasana first. Yeah, so flex the feet. Hold the feet if you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. You can keep your chin fold, uh, pointing forward or fold down. Get that lady grip to mo fong so so jana na jana ao hong hao. So you want to flex the feet back, right? Try not to be too passive with the legs. Get how the upper body wants to go, depending on your mood. It's okay, but keep your legs strong for at least today, okay, for the next five seconds. Four, three, two. And one, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, and release. Give me one second. Okay. Tiri and Mukhekapada, Pachimuttanasana. So I'm going to do it this way for you. Bring your right leg in, and so the right toe is pointing back. Okay, and you're sitting up straight. Right? If you find that you're falling back, but I would highly recommend you to sit on a block and elevate yourself so there's more space for the knee. Okay, if you have any knee injuries, um, you can roll a small towel, slip it underneath your knee, and then as you fold the leg, there's more space for that knee to open. Yeah? So either you can take that option too. Okay, so once you have a strong foundation, ashtangis, roll the hip out, flex the toe back. Okay, get it out, take it So Noticing that when you fold forward, it comes from the hip, hips here, okay? So it doesn't come from the spine. So try your best. Inhale, lengthen, tilt your pelvis back, chest moving forward, and exhale, fold forward. Yeah. So you can stay here, yeah, or anywhere you want. You can fold the head down. Yeah, you can take your left hand to the right wrist, right hand to the left wrist, depends, whatever you want. Hold here. I like to keep my chest open, chin forward for five. Four, keep the weight slightly more heavy on the right hip if you can, okay? Two, and one, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stay here, keep your knee where it is. Stay where you are, I'm just gonna turn back onto the mat. Good, and you're gonna lie back in Supta Ardha Virasana, okay? So bring your elbows down. If this is enough for you, stay here. You really feel that stretch of that right quads, okay? So stay where you are. I'm gonna go this way so you can see my leg. Good. If you can, on your elbows, lie, up, lie back, reach your arms above your head, hold your opposite elbows. If your knee, this knee, starts to lift up, you see it lift up, 
Yeah. Then you want to sit back up on your elbows, okay? And just work in making sure that knee is grounded onto the mat. Hold here. So some people feel it more in the quads. Some people feel it in the lower back. So what you're going to do is just work with how you feel, you know? Some days my quads feel tight. Some days my lower back feels tighter. Some days I'm just tight everywhere. <laughs> so just it's quite struggling. So usually when you do Sukta Varasana full pose, it's quite intense for some people. So again, let's just do one side and the other. Elbows down, come up. Good. Reach your right leg forward. I'm going to turn back this way. And, and fold forward just for a second Pachimottanasana. Release. So feel the difference in both sides of the legs. Let's try best to equal that. Inhale. Exhale, release. Left leg, Tarian Mukha Kapara, Pachimottanasana. Ground your hips. Good. When you come to a place where you're slightly more open, the knees are more together, right? So at first, they might be kind of wider apart. So if you can, bring it together. Take your right hand or your left hand and pull the hip so you're opening, inner spiraling that straight leg, okay? Sit up straight. Okay. So if it's hard for you to sit up straight, um, there's, you, know, you don't need to fold forward. Just work on that, okay? Inhale, exhale. If you can, fold forward. Take your foot, elbows down, and breathe. Good. I like to stay here with my chin up, look at my toes or ankle. Good. Taking deep inhales and exhales. Once you start to feel that your mind wanders somewhere else, like, oh, I need a pedicure or <laughs> something else, the easiest thing to do is just connect back to the breath. Inhale and exhale. Good. Even if you connect back for a few seconds and you fall out of it, it's okay. You know, it's what's really happening presently. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and release. Bring, come back to your elbows, make your cell down, and hold here. Okay, so make sure the knees are not too wide. If you can, fly all the way back. And hold opposite elbows and reach. So the reason why we hold, my head is cut off, kind of, anyways. The reason why you hold opposite elbows above the head in poses like this, or Sukta Bhadakonasana, is that you want to get lengthening on the sides of the body. Yeah, you want to reach. So, and you also want to feel like both sides are equal, right? So sometimes if your hips are far off, it's really uh, intense stretch the shoulder. You will feel like the shoulder is like a bit wonky. So just kind of hold the elbows and get a feel of the body. Is it even on the floor? How do the hips feel? Are the sides of the body elongated? Right? Is one side tighter than the other? You know, breathe a little bit deeper. Three more breaths. Sam go for that. Good. Elbows down, inhale, come up. Good. And what I want you to do is straighten the left leg, cross your ankles, and jump back into a vinyasa. Good. Inhale up, exhale, and down. Five breaths here. Okay, bring your knees down. Okay, we're going to come into Ustrasana, camel pose. So uh, this is going to be our last back bend. And then from here, we're going to lie on the mat. So I'm going to try to get a better angle. There you go. Okay, so pointed toes or tuck toes, it's up to you. Good. Uh, sometimes you find more stability with the tuck toes. And if you have really icky knees, keep your toes tucked, okay? Hands onto your hips. Good. And push forward. Good. If this is enough for you, just stay here. So I want to notice the breath. We're going to have a longer hold in, in uh, camel pose. So, okay? Good. Hold your uh, hold your heels. Can I touch it? Hold back. Is the heel there? Try not to shift the weight back to hold. Okay. Hips are forward. Hold the heels. Yeah. So your head is still looking forward, and you're really exaggerating, pressing the hips forward. You can drop your head back and breathe. Good. If it's good for you, point the toes. Good. Hold here. Drop the head. Ah. Find your breath. So feel like the chest is lifting up, the head is open. So you're not shrugging the shoulders, you're opening the shoulders. Keep pressing the chest up to the sky and breathe. Last five breaths here. Push lips forward, open the chest. Good. Release the hands into the heart center. Stay in the back bend, guys, stay in the back bend. Feel like your knees are squeezing a block. Inhale, come up. 
Take a moment to move as you're looking forward and breathe. Hands down, downward facing dog, stretch it up. If you fancy vinyasa, inhale plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. Oh, our last down dog of the sequence, guys. Really enjoy it. You're gonna bring your knees down, and now we're gonna lie down, okay? Um, I think I lined down this way. Okay, so lie down on your mat in Shavasana, Dayose. So feet are as wide as the mat, hands are by the body. Can you see my feet? I can't. Stay in Shavasana. Okay, better. Hold here. Good. Bring your feet together, bring your knee in towards the chest, and pull the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Good. It's also known as wind, rele wind relieving pose. Okay, we do the right leg first uh, due to the promoting of the digestive system. So right side is the ascending colon, pressing it down. You know, for those that are quite open, um, I know when you interlace the fingers, it really helps working the biceps and triceps. But to go deeper, you can actually use your right inner elbow and then hold your opposite elbow and pull in this way. Okay, so you get mm, a deeper stretch in towards the hips. Good. With your left hand, hold the outside of the right foot and extend it up towards the sky. Good. Reach your, left, uh, your right hand over to the right and hold. Good. If you have the space, I'm sure we have more space than we usually do, but I don't actually. Bring your right leg over towards the left, bend the knee as an option, and twist the body. Good. Focusing on pressing the right hip back and up, lengthening the sides of the body. Good. Come back to center, extend the leg, switching sides. Left leg in, you can interlace the fingers the opposite way, pull in towards the left shoulder. So, Sakasanti Kaugana, the Pony Lima, go sung, South Baker Lip Ranga. Okay, Boko, you go like go hip, you can have bigger hoods, you can go jaw for that. Right, the whole you only go jaw, Sansan, you can use the elbow now. Right, I would you took your Sansan, get a good lie of me. Right, then the whole you have a deeper stretch, I go as a hip go with the hold here. Right, noticing that back of the neck is long, your spine is resting on the mat. You now take your right hand, hold outside of the foot, extend your leg straight, and, and release the left hand over towards the left. L shape or straight. And so make sure the hip's not lifted, guys. Keep that left hip down, drop it over towards your right. Good. Look over your left and twist. Three more breaths. Chin forward, come back up, and release. Okay, now come to soup the Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, hold your opposite elbows above the head, and please just close your eyes. Come on, Danyan. Okay, taking 20 breaths here. Letting the knees relax. And now slowly extend your legs to final Shavasana, Dayosik, the last pose. Your hands are by the sides of the body, palms are facing up. Your feet are as wide as the mat, toes are turned down. Relax the jaw and lips. Relax your tongue. The skin on the face is soft. Your neck is soft. And staying in Shavasana, I'll guide you into your Shavasana. So, I'm going to Yung 
So as you start to feel like the skin of the face is like melting, your eyes are closed, but your focusing is still on the tip of the nose. Now let go of the breath. Go full cup you and chew focus on you. Just really take this moment to feel your physical body. Feel your mental state right now. You know, you feel the differences in the body. Do you feel more open? Do you feel more strength? More length? You know, and then when you feel those different feelings around the body, when you lie in Shavasana, you just want to surrender all those feelings, as if the mat's just holding you up. Like so letting all the benefits of class just sink into your body. As you lie down in Shavasana, turning your head to the left and the right, and moving slowly. And then come back to center and inhale. And through the nose, exhale. Mm. Inhale. Now through the mouth, exhale. Okay, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the mat, and roll over towards the right side of the room. Okay, just stay here for a moment in a fetal position. You know, just kind of take a moment with your eyes are closed, get a feel of where you are, right? Um, focusing on where the head's facing on the mat, your surroundings. You know, try to keep your eyes closed, and slowly come into a seated position so that you're facing me, right, on the screen. Your spine is straight. Eyes are closed. Hands into the heart center. Okay, please, silently in your mind, thank yourself for your efforts. All right, thank you. Thank yourself for your commitment. You know, and thanking your body, you know, for letting you have this opportunity to practice yoga together. Excuse me. So again, coming back to that, just thanking your body for your commitment. And then closing together with one oh, inhale. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for coming and practicing with me. Um, I think the time is right, so let me come over. I have one minute. My hair, guys. <laughs> we have one minute remaining. So I'm going to turn the comments back on. And how do you guys feel? Back at home, sun high. We have 50, 51 seconds remaining. Thank you guys for coming to class. Um, I'll keep you updated on my Instagram uh, when I will be doing my next session. My next class should be on Tuesday. Um, uh, most likely be Facebook, right? Uh, so that I don't have this limitation of 33 seconds left, okay? Thank you guys. Um, DM me if you have any questions in regards to the practice. Um, I really like connecting with all of you. And guys, have a great weekend. Okay, stay happy, stay healthy. Okay, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I'm gonna end this live now in 14 seconds. 13. Thank you.
Rachel, hi Rachel, hi. Okay, five seconds. Uy, uy, uy. Okay, bye.